you get your kids to feel that same sense of wonder? In today's Kids Bird Report, Christine Sorensen shows us some fantastic ideas to get young people intrigued by science and space. Many organizations around the region are hosting events and exhibits for the big anniversary, but Kidsburg's new guide shows how the Science Center has a whole summer of space. It's blast off at the Carnegie Science Center, where kids are having fun with old favorites like the rocket launch and lots of brand new space themed exhibits. I like that, you know, all the cool things, they, all the cool activities they have around here. This tile, you can't see it, but when you, when you put it there and push the button, there's like hidden pictures. You can use scientific tools to see things better, build a spacecraft and then test its durability when it shakes. And at the Space Out Astronomy Weekend, July 20th and 21st, there will be hands-on demos like this one about planets that Mike Hennessy did for my kids and friends. See just how big Jupiter is compared to the Earth. The moon landing was a huge moment in history. The Post-Gazette proclaimed, we're on the moon, and it was even televised. All eyes were glued on the TV on July 20th, 1969, when man walked on the moon for the first time. Here at the Science Center, they're hoping to get kids who knew nothing about that excited about space for the 21st century. What do you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut. Why? Just because it seems like a cool experience. Mike hopes the summer of space will be not only a celebration, but also inspire, I think, the next generation of scientists who will uh, solve lots of problems on Earth and take us back to the moon and on to Mars. In fact, many Pittsburghers helped with that first moon landing, including the man who came up with the mechanism for the flag that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin planted. The flag that had to be stood upright and look like it was waving even though there's no wind on the moon. The new Buell Planetarium show features many of those Pittsburgh scientists and mathematicians who helped make the moon landing possible. And a new Rangos giant cinema movie called Apollo 11 First Steps Edition features the final moments before takeoff. Kids and adults alike say the Science Center's new space programs are working. I think it's very hands-on, which is what the kids need. And it's, it's a great tool to teach principles of physics. I think it's boring to like read it off of like paper or something to like learn about it, be able to do something with it. I think that makes it stick in your brain more. There are also lots of opportunities this summer to see space up close using their Buell Observatory Telescope from the rooftop of the Science Center. And you'll find the full guide on Kidsburg's website, and we have a link for you at kdka.com slash Kidsburg. I'm Christine Sorensen for Pittsburgh Today Live. Thanks, Christine. Great stuff. And let me show you something the Science Center has come up with. Take a look at this T-shirt. Uh, now, it says, that's one small step for yins, one giant leap for yins guys. Of course, a play on Neil Armstrong's famous line. And look, they have a little, or they have a little parking chair there uh, uh, on the moon. And also, instead of uh, Saturn with a ring around it, it, it looks to me that that is a pierogi with a ring around it, which is just perfect for Pittsburgh. As we like to say on PTL, that's so Pittsburgh. So great job with the T-shirts, too. Well, still to come, an invention made right here in Pittsburgh that's improving lives across the country. I'll tell you about the device that's helping people with Parkinson's. But first, we're hitting the streets. Street Week continues here on Pittsburgh Today Live as Team PTL climbs aboard Molly's Trolley for a very unique tour of our city.